I totally forgot to record an intro for this video, but it's fine because you see the vibes with this hair. So let's just get into how I installed and styled this unit. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> So I have another loose wave ginger wig. This one is from Beauty Forever Hair. All the details on this specific wig will be down in the description box below. Here is the inside of the cap so you can see that. I decided to start off by styling on the mannequin head before styling on my head. It just, I don't know, I wanted to try it. I've been watching more hair videos and I don't know. I feel like it might make things a little bit, you know, easier and precise for me instead of having to do it all on my head. So that's why I did it that way this time. I started out by sectioning out the baby hairs in the front. And then I also used my hot comb to tame the hairs to go back before I began plucking. <music> Because the hair is ginger, I didn't need to bleach, so that was nice to take that off my plate. But I still did need to pluck the wig. And, um, you know, it didn't take a whole lot of plucking, but it still needed some plucking. The only areas I didn't pluck were the hairs with the baby hair. This is why I love loose waves straight out the box like this, because those curls came already set. So I'm not going to have to do too much with styling, and I love that for me. I'm doing a ball cap for this unit, so obviously doing a ball cap, you want to cut some holes for the ears. And then if you're going to pull the cap down, you definitely want to cut some holes for the eyes so that way you can see what you're doing. I went to the beauty supply store a while ago and I picked up some of this new Ebon hairspray. It might not be too new, but this is my first time trying it. And I just wanted to see how well it did compared to, you know, the standard got to be we usually use. So I used that on my ball cap this time. And I will tell you, like, they were not kidding about that hold. This stuff is good, like really good. I like to spray my ball caps kind of far back on the front just because when I start cutting off the ball cap and a piece rolls or something, I don't want it to totally take up my ball cap. And then I blow dried it on cool. I used to blow dry on hot because it was quicker, but I noticed that the hairsprays that I use would always kind of like get this crystallized look when I did it on hot. So I usually just do it on cool now. And then I tinted the cap to match my skin tone using a powder foundation. This one is L'Oreal Infallible Powder in the color Copper. Then I cut off the cap, making sure to get as close to my hairline as possible because I don't have a whole lot of forehead space, so I need all the extra space I can get. And then I was good to go. The lace was already a light brown color, but I still added a little bit of my lace tint to make sure it was on point for me. Now the first thing I do when putting a wig on is check the sizing for my size. Y'all know if y'all watch my channel, it's very rare that a wig totally fits me on the size. They just come up a little bit far. So I always check for that. And usually I'll have to take up a little bit of my cap and cut some of that off. So that way, you know, just a little bit of my hair is just always gonna have to blend with the wig. Unless it just happens to be a frontal that comes up a little too far and I can cut it back. I actually am a fan of those. Makes my life a lot easier. But usually I kind of have to maneuver with these wigs. So for installing, I went ahead and cut the lace a little bit first. So that way it'd be easy to flip up for me so I could apply my... Um, you know, holding spray all at once. I'm using the Ebon Lace Holding Spray again. Y'all, this stuff, it didn't even leave any residue. It didn't take up my cap. And um, what else was I about to say? I don't forgot what I was about to say. It'll come back to me. Oh, this thing held for like two days, y'all. I was shook. Like my wig was not coming off. It was not going anywhere. So this is a great way to like install your wig real quick, but still have like a really nice hold to it. I'm impressed. I didn't think I was gonna like it as much, but yeah, it's definitely proved me wrong. So now I'm cutting off the lace and you know, I cut in jagged motions cause you don't want to cut like straight cause that's a dead giveaway that you got on a wig. You want that lace to look, you know, more like scalp like and it blends better if you're cutting jaggedly. Now for me, after I cut my lace, I like to just add a little bit of holding spray to the areas that kind of came up in the process. I like to lay those back down. I cut my baby hairs and I like to like cut mine around my eyebrow length. That's like a good rule of thumb for me. And then I put my elastic band on to kind of set and melt the lace and set my baby hairs going downwards. Now, while I'm doing that, clearly what I'm doing is adding some layers to the hairs for some volume and some bounce and some liveliness. Y'all know I love layers, so I'm always adding layers to my wigs. And this time is no different. <music> Thank you. 
Now it's time to tame this top. I'm using my wax stick and my hot comb to flatten down the wig and set everything in place. I know I kind of did that a little bit on the mannequin head, but you still got to mold it to fit your head. Depending on how the wig is cooperating, you may have to do a couple rows with the wax stick and the hot comb. For this wig, I only needed to do like two rows of it. I was super happy with how this was turning out, but I did go back and add just a little bit more layerage to the front, just the very front. Now back to these baby hairs. I'm using setting foam. Um, I like to put some on the back of my hand and then I just dip my edge brush in it and then I do my swoops. So while loose wave curls look so good straight out of the box, I did want the curls in front of my face to be more uniform. So I pulled out my wand curler and I'm just adding some curls to the front. <laughs> I let the curls sit for probably like three minutes tops, I want to say. It didn't need very long to sit to get this look. I was happy with how it turned out. And I'm glad I did that because, you know, it just needed some uniform curls right in the front. The back was good, but the front needed to really like be customized and on point, you know? I took a wide tooth comb to kind of stretch out the curls a little bit and, you know, just kind of put them together a little bit more, but without ruining the curls. But then I picked up my wig brush and I realized that was going to give me more of the desired kind of fluffy look that I wanted. So things were sitting great as is, but for me personally, I felt like I wanted my face frame and curls to sit a little bit lower on my face than they were at that moment. I mean, looking at it on camera, it actually wasn't that bad, but and in that time period, I just wanted it to sit a little lower. So I recurled it so that they would fall a little bit lower, like near my jawline instead of higher near my cheeks. Then I took my hairspray all throughout the hair. Not too, too much because I didn't want the hair to get hard, but I did want my curls to hold and my top to stay laying flat with no flyaways. This actually didn't have a whole lot of flyaways in it. And then I also added some powder foundation to make the part more prominent. Y'all, I'm just in love with this ginger hair color. Y'all know this is my second time trying ginger hair and I just, I love it. Like it just really goes well with like brown and black skin tones to me. I love it in loose wave. This is the loose wave kind of game, which is why I styled it in a different style, you know, since I did it on the side last time, do it in the middle for y'all this time. And I like it this way too. Like you just really can't go wrong with a ginger wig. And loose waves brush out so nice. It's like already having it pre-curled for you, which I love because y'all know I'm good with curls and. And I love the look of curls, but I hate the process, like, ugh. But yeah, this came out super cute and super pretty. If you're interested, I will have all the details in the description box below. Shout out to Beauty Forever Hair for sending this to me. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.